Testing, testing, are you hearing me? Hey everybody, this is Vin Jim Phil. Hope you're having a smashing day. And if you don't, then this video, well, I know the colors don't look that great. But believe me, it's going to cheer you up. Today we're talking about the Galaxy, the Samsung Galaxy S7. And whether or not you can use this as a vlogging device. And right now I'm using my iPhone 7. So you can see the difference. And what you're going to notice is that there is a much wider image on this one. So are you ready? Because it's time to make the switch. Let's go. Okay, so now I'm recording with the Galaxy S7. Uh, this test, you can basically you know, say that this test is also testing the Galaxy S7 Edge because it's basically the same camera. Now there are a couple of things that I first wanted to mention. Um, I wanted to talk to you about, you know, why you could or shouldn't use the Samsung Galaxy S7 as a vlogging device. Okay, first of all, just want to explain something. Uh, I'm using uh, a lav mic, an iRig lav mic, so do not judge the quality of the audio it should be basically the same as previously when I was recording with my iPhone 7 when I was also using the iRig. So yeah, so as you can see, first of all, the angle is really wide. Now if I extend my arm, you can see that the wide angle lens is pretty cool. I mean, it covers a lot. And What's really interesting about using the Samsung Galaxy S7 as a vlogging device is that the front-facing camera is 1440p. Now, some might be thinking, well, Vinny, why? What, what, who cares about the front-facing camera? The S7 has a 4K camera on the back. True, very true. But the problem is that when you're recording, um, you know, in 4K on the back camera you can't see what you're recording now i can just speak for myself but i think that most vloggers they want to be able to see themselves while they're recording and why is it because we're so in love with our own faces no because we want to make sure that we are recording that we are in frame you know that we don't have like talking like this and <laughs> you know we, we just want to make sure that we're covering everything so 4040p is really cool there are not a lot of smartphones that have 1440p, unfortunately. So that's a big plus because 1440p, to me at least, is basically just like 4K. I think it's close enough. So, um, is the Galaxy S7 a good vlogging smartphone? <sighs> this all depends on what kind of a person you are. I have to say that for my needs, it's just not good enough. And let me tell you why. Okay, so the problem for me when it comes to vlogging on the Samsung Galaxy S7 is that I have tested to record video as long as I can because I think that's really important when you're vlogging. You don't want to get like interrupted because there is like a recording limit. Like on the S8, on the Note 8, you can only shoot in like 10 minutes in 4k you don't have that on the iphone which to me at least makes me think that the iphone is a better vlogging camera now the s7 i tested to see how long i could record i personally stopped recording after about 35 minutes because to me if you can record 30 minutes without interruptions without any kind of limit then i think it's cool some would even say that you have to be able to record at least an hour. And I get that. That's totally fine. I, I didn't test so far, but I'm going to have to just assume that you actually can shoot at least an hour on the Galaxy S7. But that's not where the problem is. Is it perhaps the fact that there is no autofocus? No. No. It's not a big issue. Because if you're vlogging, you basically don't want to worry about focus and everything. Uh, this is... 
you know, infinite focus in this distance is just perfect. At least I think it is. Is it perhaps the fact that when you're recording, you cannot uh, change contrast and uh, change um, light adaptation in the camera settings like you can on the iPhone? No, but it does bother me a bit. The reason why it doesn't bother me that much though is because the camera on the Galaxy S7 shoots pretty good as you can see. I don't have to really change that much. But if I really wanted to, I could just change in post-production. Not that Android has any video color grading tools. Not any good, at least. Um, on the iPhone, you at least have Video Grade, which is an excellent app for color correcting. Okay, so, Vinny, you've covered most of it, but you still haven't revealed exactly why you don't re recommend the Galaxy S7 as a vlogging smartphone. Okay, then here we go. The reason why I cannot recommend the Galaxy S7 as a vlogging smartphone is because that you could record infinitely, almost, but once you reach 4 gigabytes, it splices the files. I mean, it splits the files, basically. You have to splice them back together again if you want to upload them. So that basically means that, let's say I'm vlogging and I want to vlog for, you know, 30 minutes. After I'm done, I can't just upload that file. I have to splice the files together because after about 20 minutes, uh, the Galaxy S7 will basically split the files. Which means that I have to go into, uh, you know, like Cyberlink Power Director or some kind of editing uh, software and I have to splice the files together. And I think that's hugely impractical. So, I mean, if you're gonna use a smartphone on, on, on the go, you know, for vlogging, then it should be, you know, portable, it should have good image quality, which it does. I think this is excellent image quality, but if you can't, like, upload those videos directly, then I kind of don't see the point, because that would mean that I would have to actually take my video files, upload them to my computer, then splice them together, and then upload. If I'm going to go through that kind of a hassle, I just might as well use a Micro Four Thirds camera or an iPhone. So, again, I, I don't mean to bash too much on Android, but because of the file system on Android, uh, you cannot go, you cannot cross four gigabytes without splitting the files. So, I have to say that the Samsung Galaxy S7 and most Android devices, because I haven't, in fact, found an Android device that does, that does not split the files, I have to say that the best vlogging smartphone, as of right now, is still uh, the iPhone. Because there is no limit, and you can, and it doesn't split the files. And sure, you know, I will miss the wide angle on my iPhone 7, and I will miss the 1440p and the really crisp colors, but uh, to me, content is everything, and the ability to be able to record and just upload directly after that, it's, it means everything to me. So, those are just my personal thoughts. If you're gonna... If, if recording limit is not that important to you, maybe it's something that you can use. I'm just expressing, you know, my thoughts and my feelings about it. Okay, and this is a little test just just to compare, you know. Uh, and now you can also check out the audio quality. Uh, now I'm recording with the iPhone 7. Uh, basically, you can see the indicator on the top of the screen where the audio is coming from. But this is the microphone on the smartphones themselves. As you can see, uh, the Galaxy S7 does definitely have a much wider image, which is pretty cool. And it's also 1440p, so technically it's sharper, although there is a little bit of distortion, but it's not that big, at least if you're always like in the center of the image. 
the colors are obviously more crispy and interesting looking on the Samsung S7 and the iPhone is more sort of natural um, but yeah that's the little test hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you did hit that like button and uh, reach for that subscribe button as well and if you're not too busy take a look at my other videos well I gotta go I'll see you later okay that was it hope you enjoyed this video and if you did see that like button smash it and I got some freakishly awesome videos coming up better subscribe so you don't miss a beat I'll see you later peace